Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another 10 on the 10th Christmas cards. This is hosted by Metal Scrap and Chick Kim here on YouTube and I wanted to show you what I had done with those panels I made a few days ago and I will link that at the end of the video so you can watch how I made those. But I use several different items. I use this Love, Joy, and Peace from this set. I don't know where it's from. It doesn't say. And I use this Snowflake from Stampin' Up. It's, it's one of those die sets, um, All Seasons or something. It has leaves. It has that Adirondack chair. It has a tree branch. But anyway, that's my Snowflake die. Bermuda Bay ink. This really cool silver holographic paper that I bought from scrapbook.com. And this is some glitter paper from a set that I bought and I showed you that haul a week or so ago, I guess, now. And I used this, this silver ink out of my Delicata set. I used my Versamark and silver and this new one called Snowflake Tinsel for the sentiment. And I used my Snowflake Stencil two different ways. I used this set from Rubber Step Tempestry Winter Night Sky. It's got the different little snowflakes. And then, then to do the technique itself, I used uh, baby wipes. I cut snowflakes from the silver holographic paper. And my, my cards range, they're kind of all over the place. They're all a little bit different. This first card, this was made with the baby wipe technique. And if you see this silver small snowflakes, Merry Christmas in, in Boston Silver. I got this idea from um, Crazy Paper Chick, Alicia Haverneck. She likes to, uh, to stamp and emboss on black. And I had the one snowflake here. May your love be filled with love, joy, and peace. May your life be filled with love, joy, and peace. And I stamped again the little pieces from Rubber Step Tempestry. And I used um, this paper I had in my stash for the matting. And this one I went ahead and did two. Again, this is the, the baby wipe technique. And the colors I used Broken China, Salty Ocean, Faded Jeans, and Peacock Feathers. And I put I put the applicator on the back with Velcro. Yep. Okay. So I put two snowflakes on this one. Merry Christmas. This was in Snowflake Tinsel, which it does glitter, but the jury's still out on whether I like it. All. You know, I'll have to work with it a lot more. This was the first try. Okay, and this one, I had a little boo-boo, so I covered it up with a silver ornament. I got these from a, a little craft store that was going out of business. Same same deal here. And then this is the one that I, I just put the stencil over and then I took the applicator and just covered it with different colors. 
And then I also used the, the silver. Now I went ahead and used snowflakes on it, but afterwards I thought, wow, that's, that's kind of busy. Um, so I did make several of these, but I also changed it up a little bit and you'll see. But again, the Merry Christmas in silver. And then the inside. Here's another one. This one I did not mat. I put this straight on the on the card base. The card base is kind of a it's kind of a a cross between Pacific Point and Tranquil Tide, but it was in my uh, stash. I bought the hundred pound card stock at Michael's. It came in a set of three different shades, and so I put an insert in here. And this is where I used the glitter paper mat. And I used one snowflake in the silver again, and then the silver embossing. Again, we have another the baby white piece with the matting, the, the uh, glitter paper, and the two snowflakes. I think actually the snowflakes look better on this kind of background, the baby white background. And then this is plain without any snowflakes. I think it's pretty busy enough, don't you? And then the silver. And then and this is the snowflake tinsel again. Same inside. Yeah. And this is just no snow, no extra snowflakes. And then silver. And then last but not least, here's one with the snowflake. Okay, that's my 10 cards for this month. Which one do you like the best? Do you like the snowflakes on this one? Or this one? Or is it just too much for this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And there are other participants with their links down in the description box below. And I'd love for you to go see them. And again, I will be linking the video that I did to make these panels after this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.